Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. And in this tutorial, I am gonna show you how to make a calculator. Let's start the program. Here, first we need to ask user what operation they want to do. So they can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we are going to write here printf what operation do you want to do? And a new line. Here, four options are available to the user. And to show this option to the screen, we are going to write here, printf, press 1 for addition. And a new line. Next, I am going to write, press 2 for subtraction. To do this, I am going to copy it and paste here. And I am going to write here, press 2 for subtraction next I am gonna write press 3 for multiplication write here 3 and here multiplication then press 4 for division write here 4 and here division let's check how it look compile it and run it as you can see here, it print in the same way as we want. Now, we need to read the number that the user enter and store it in a variable. So, we are going to create an integer type variable. So, right here, int n. To read the number, we are going to write here, scanf person d and then ampersand n. Next, we need to ask the user to enter number. So, write here printf and we're gonna say please enter a number and a slash n. We need to read the number that the user enter and store in a variable. So, we need to declare variable. Here, we're gonna declare two integer type variable. So, write here num1 and num2. And we need another variable to hold the result of the operation. So here we take another variable that is result. To read the first number we use scanf percent d and we store the number to the variable num1. So right here ampersand num1. Then we need to read the second number. To do this I am gonna copy it. and paste here and we are going to write here please enter a second number to store the second number to the variable num2 here we write num2 we know when there are many options are available and you need to choose one of them then it is better to us to use a switch statement so I am gonna write here switch statement switch a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. Here I am gonna write n because when asking to the user what operation they want to do, the user enter his choice and we read it by scanf function and then it was stored in the variable n. That's why we use here n. Next we write the case condition. In case 1 we perform addition operation. So write here case 1 result equal to num1 plus num2 now we print the value of the operation so right here printf addition of two number is percent d and give here the variable name that is result and then give here a break statement Similarly, in case 2, we perform subtraction operation. So, I am going to copy this and paste here, right here case 2. Since we perform the subtraction operation, so give here minus sign and I am going to write here subtraction of 2 number. In case 3, we perform multiplication operation. So, right here case 3, 
here give the multiplication sign that is star and here I am going to write multiplication in case 4 we perform division operation give here the division sign that is slash and then write here division of two number next we write the default case print a wrong input our program is completed let's run it compile it and run it it asks what operation do you want to do if you want to perform addition operation so press 1 then enter a number I am gonna enter 45 enter a second number I am gonna enter 2 addition of 2 number is 47 because 45 plus 2 that is equal to 47 that's fine now if we want to continue the program or execute it more than one time then we need to use a loop here we execute the program at least one and then decide further we execute it or not for this purpose we use a do while loop so right here do give here the starting braces and here the closing braces and write the while statement while a pair of parentheses here we are going to ask user do you want to continue so write here printf slash n do you want to continue yes or no then a new line now we need to read the character that the user enter for this purpose we use a function is called get che the task of this function is to read a single character the instant it is type without waiting for a enter key to be hit here e in this function means it echoes the character that you type to the screen and at the same time it return the character that has been most recently typed so this function perform three tasks at the same time first it read the character then display it and then return it we need to store the value that the function get che return so I am gonna write here option equal to get che since the function get che return a character value so we need to declare option as a character type variable so write here care option now we are going to write the condition that is option equal to equal to y if this condition is true means if you type y then the control go here and execute the statements inside the loop again and if you type any character except y then the condition is false and the loop terminate let's check the output compile it and run it as you can see here it asks you what operation do you want to do suppose you want to perform subtraction operation then press 2 then it asks enter a number I am gonna enter 34 then enter a second number I am gonna enter 3 subtraction of two number is 31 because 34 minus 3 is equal to 31 next it asks do you want to continue yes or no if you want to continue then press y then it asks again what operation do you want to do suppose this time you want to perform multiplication so press 3 enter first number I am gonna enter 5 enter second number I am gonna enter 6 multiplication of two number is 30 because 5 multiplication 6 is equal to 30 now it again asks do you want to continue yes or no if you don't want to continue further then press any character except y I am gonna enter n and the program is terminate that's it hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel